Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I believe that that is a 12 by 12 inch or 12 inch round canvas and it says 10 inches. <laughs> so I am wrong. That is a 10 inch canvas. I have some maiden white paint. I'm going to put on one side and I've done the edge from the place that you can see. I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. I want to do the black side first. <laughs> of course I do. It's the more fun side. But for right now, I'm just going to take my paint and let it fill in. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of that and squish it right in with my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. That is maybe a little more paint. I'm used to using slightly larger canvases and they're not missing corners. <laughs> I'm going to grab a scrape plate because I almost always find a use for my excess paint. Wipe off my excess paint on my pants, which are basically my paint rags. And then clean it one last time on the studio rag before coming in here and squishing that black up there. I have a really hard time telling the difference between white canvas and white paint. My eyes are not great and the light's a little funny today. Hopefully we keep rolling for a while. The hurricane has already given us a blow, took, took the canopy out of my backyard. I thought it was going to go anyway, that you could see daylight through the, through the centerpiece. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for right now. And now I'm going to add some colors. And I wanted to do some blues. And I'm going to start with my favorite. You know what? I'm going to put some gold down. Because that's my deal. I could blow into this, but my intention was to swipe. So I'm just going to put, that's a very turquoise you know what, I don't even know, I think that's, um, I think that's a metallic decor Americana. I think this is a cobalt, <laughs> but I'm not sure because I haven't, I didn't label it. I've learned since I started that it would have been a great idea to use the, um, the Glad Cling Wrap, wrap your bottle in it and use a permanent marker and just write right on there, whatever you want. Your bottle comes out clean too. Here, I'll show you. See? This is Glad Cling Wrap. And I can just peel it off and the paint with it. This is some Prussian Blue, probably Grumbacher. Sometimes I use, I don't know, they're, they're all pretty similar. You, if they're two paints, and they are, then you need to make sure that you thin them appropriately. My paint pouring recipe is underneath Show More, underneath the video. This is an Anita's White Metallic with a little bit of the Venetian blue, which I did or did not just use. Uh, there's the Venetian blue. Nope, I didn't use it yet. <laughs> the days, they're blending all together. <laughs> this might be an interesting day. The hurricane's going to hit us tonight, what, about 2 a.m., I've heard. I have to add some purple flash. It's just, it makes everything what I want it to be. Now, even though I made an uneven center, I had a reason for that. And I've prepared another canvas that's larger than an uneven center. And if, and if the tools I made for that one get used on this one as a practice run and work out, then I will be doing a larger round canvas that is probably 12 by 12 or 12 inches round. I'm going to use some electric blue metallic from Arteza. I'd kind of like to use it everywhere. The other time I lay lines down, but I just had such a massive amount of too much paint that I thought it would be more interesting to see how it was going to work. Do I have enough blue? I really wanted this to be blue rather than purple. And I realized that this is a blue color shift. 
from folk art that I added some some blue or some purple unicorn spit to, which is a wood stain, just to make it blue enough. Let me see if I've got one more blue here. I have. Oh, you know what I do have? I have an island blue, which ought to be perfect. That's from Anita's. That's that's going to add some pizzazz. All right. Well, I like the picture the way it is. Now, I've cut a bunch of round end. Well, this one's got two ends, but I don't know if you can see those. There's a sort of an oval with one thinner round than the other end. This one has two round ends. Let's start with let's start with the big one. And I'm going to use the black Amsterdam oxide paint on the white side. And I'm going to use the small end. I lied. <laughs> I'm going to use a different card entirely. Because I want to be able to find out what happens. I'm going to need my scrape dish. There's a lot of paint there. Which, I, which most of came off. That's awesome. Alright, so that's pretty. Pretty colors. It's time to try the other side. Maybe I'll just flip the card over as opposed to worrying about getting it clean. So that's not a bad place to start in the center. I like how the gold is working out. I like to blow on my cell activator which in this case is Aussie Flow Troll. And Amsterdam White. So that's pretty cool. I like that too. It's looking very watery indeed. Now I think it's time for me to grab myself a little dish to dip into. I'd like to put white on one side and black on the other. I'm going to use the smallest end, well, the smaller end that I've got. And I am learning. I don't need as much paint as I think I do. Wipe that off. I could have tipped. I didn't even think of that. And I am tack just touching the leftover residuals to the edge of the canvas and letting them fall over. These canvases have pleats on the sides, so they came from Hobby Lobby, these canvases did. So that's pretty, but I'm a little wondering about that. Do I have a small round tool? I have small tools, but not a small round tool. Where's my smallest round tool? That's going to have to do. I'm going to use some white, I think, this time. I, ha I know I have a smaller tool than that. It's probably in the bottom of, yes it is, in the bottom of a bucket. Hang on while I wipe this off, because this is the one I want. They do clean up pretty good. This one has a little residual paint from yesterday on it. And a little water now, too. I want to make some purple cell activator, but I'm nervous ever since I tried to make it with the gold and it didn't work. That's all right. Maybe I like that. Maybe I'm going to use some black. I need a much smaller one of these round things. You can make these tools or ask me for the link to sh share with you the video where I made these tools pretty easily. There might even be a playlist called Tools. <laughs> There's a chance of that. Um, wondering...
I'm liking that purple there so much that it's calling to me to just put some more down. I'm really thinking before I do another video, I'm going to make a smaller one of these tools. A round one. You can see this is another thing I'm probably going to put some spirals into. Looks like I've got some DNA strands going. Spirals right in the middle never hurt anything or anyone. So I want some more white and I didn't give myself a dip dish so I'm going to squeeze out some of that to the little scrape dish I have below that's not full yet. Now the most important thing about these tools is that they have to float. Once they drag on canvas then you've got trouble. But as long as they're floating you're well off. You can pick up colors and use the edge like a brush or a drawing tool. In this case I don't have enough, I'm just going to steal some from somewhere else. kind of want some red in there. That's kind of strange because I'm not supposed to want red in there. But I am supposed to want spirals everywhere because that is my gig. I decided that I'm okay to embrace and admit my spiral addiction. <laughs> when I see a line that just needs to have a curve added to it, these little tools are the perfect thing for that. And then any of the residuals, you can just tap right over the edge and it usually fits the edge of a canvas pretty nicely. All right, so what do I not have enough of? I kind of think I like, and I want some more of the Venetian blue. I've also switched my tools so that I'm gonna be using more of my little tools. Sorry, I'm a little focused. I'd like this to turn out quite nicely. And I am going to learn to use less paint somehow. Oh, that was a good mark. I am getting close to being done. So far so good. I like this color here and I think I want to steal some of it and use it right there. Just dab and drag. Yep, I like the way that looks. Just swivel it around. That's why I like the bamboo skewer for the handle because I can twiddle it I twist it between my fingers. I'm liking this. I got some big laces or lacing and a nice little bunch of spirals. That one white line is bugging me though. I could put some dots in here. This is too solid for me too. That needs to become a spiral. All right, I'm resisting finishing for some reason because once I'm done with that, I'm going to use my residuals right on that edge. There we go. Okay, so what is it going to be? 
I want to throw some hot orchid in there. You knew that was coming, didn't you? I might want to do it somewhere else. I might want to just throw a couple dots in there, you know? It doesn't have to be a lot. The hot orchid will also bleed. I know I said I wanted it to be blues, but hot orchid will make the make the blues stand out nicely. All right, so here goes. Some of my last moves. I kind of want to use this residual right there and right there. Go in and grab some more black. Fill in anywhere I feel like on my edges. Just with my finger, because the finger is going to be your finger is the best tool for the little pleats. I managed to use all of my time, which means I should tell you guys thank you for the compliments and the comments that keep my morale boosted. And thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. Really appreciate that. I don't mind that there's white under there, which means I can scrape right down and add some marks if I want. I didn't keep a lot of the black and white, but I might have kept enough. I would imagine this is the way this this is up. My down is near up. Um, I'm inclined to grab some of that gold. Yeah, that was good. make a few more marks because I can and call it good. I got to tell you I have a link tree which holds all my links. It's the first blue link under the video. I think I need a couple more dots of the hot orchid. It's really best served best on best on white. It does dry darker than I wish it would. Maybe a little bit, maybe a few dots of gold too wouldn't hurt. As long as they're not, oh yeah. That made me think I wanted white and black. Helps if you don't put the bottle onto the painting. if I can get a little bit of white metallic in there too. I've got one minute left to tell you that I have a monthly drawing that helps support the production of videos at the studio and the purchase of art supplies and keeps me bringing you more instruction on YouTube and pays for my being here basically because it's the only way. <laughs> and you can find the exhibition video that the prizes for the drawing are shown on on the end screen in the last 20 seconds, the prizes are at the beginning, and if you can if you contribute to help keep the studio rolling through PayPal or Patreon, those icons are on my YouTube channel banner. You'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. Yep, I'm liking those dots a lot. And I'm thinking that I've got other colors in my dish. So why not use them? Not as much purple as I'd like though. All right, I'll see you guys in on. I love you much. Make sure to check out some of my 2,200 videos. Go to my YouTube channel. 
Seek out playlists, all playlists. No, I love you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in on 7.30.